Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a three mark question from arithmetic progressions chapter. A sum of rupees two thousand is invested at seven percent per annum simple interest. Calculate the interests at the end of first, second, and third year. Do these interests form an EP? If so, find the interest at the end of the twenty seventh year. So let us try to understand the question first. Here it has been given that. A sum of rupees two thousand, that is the principal amount, is being invested in a bank, for example, and the interest rate in the bank given is seven percent per annum, that is yearly, at the end of the year, simple interest. So we have to calculate the interests at the end of first, second, and third year using this simple interest formula. And after that, we have to check whether the interests we have got form an AP or not, and if it forms an AP. we have to find out the interest which could be got at the end of 27th year so let us begin by writing the formula for simple interest first so it is given as p times r times t over 100 now p stands for the principal amount which is rupees 2000 in this case r is the rate of interest which is 7% over here so here r over 100 represents the 7% and t represents the time in years So in this case, it is going to be the first year, that is year one, year two, and year three. So let us begin by finding the interest which is got at the end of first year. So here we have written interest at the end of first year is equal to p is two thousand times r over hundred becomes seven over hundred times now time is one year. So we have written one over here. Now here we are going to cancel the two zeros from the denominator. And two zeros from the numerator, so we are left with twenty times seven times one in the numerator, giving us rupees one hundred forty. So the interest got at the end of first year is rupees one hundred forty. Now similarly, let us find out the interest at the end of second year. So here we have written interest at the end of second year is equal to. Now the principal amount remains the same, that is, it is going to be two thousand times the rate is also same, that is seven percent. Seven over hundred, and since it is the second year, now the value of t becomes two. Now again, we are going to cancel two zeros from the denominator and two zeros from the numerator, giving us twenty times seven times two in the numerator, giving us the interest as rupees two hundred eighty. Now let us find out the interest at the end of third year. So here we have written interest at the end of third year is equal to two thousand times seven times. Now the time becomes three years over hundred. Now cancelling two zeros from the denominator and two zeros from the numerator, we get twenty times seven times three, giving us the interest at the end of third year as rupees four hundred twenty. Now once we have got the interests, we have to check whether they form an arithmetic progression sequence or not. So here let us check the common difference. So the sequence of interests generated per year is equal to one hundred forty. 280 and 420 now let us check the second term minus the first term so 280 minus 140 gives us 140 now the third term minus the second term that is 420 minus 280 gives us again 140 so here the common difference is same which means the given sequence follows the arithmetic progression sequence so here let us write since the common difference generated d is equal to 140 and the common difference is same for all the terms it forms an ap now once we have verified that the given sequence forms an ap we have to find out the interest at the end of 27th year so for that we are going to make use of nth term of an ap formula which is so the nth term of an ap formula is given as an is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d where a represents the first term of the sequence And d represents the common difference. Now, in our sequence, the first term is 140, so we have written here a is equal to 140. Common difference we got here as 140, and since we have to find out the interest at the end of the 27th year, n is going to be 27. So let us plug in all these values in the formula. So we get a now n is 27 is equal to a is 140 plus 27 minus 1 times 140. Now simplifying this, we get 140 plus 27 minus 1 gives us 26 times 
times 140. Now further simplifying this we get 140 plus 26 times 140 gives us 3640. Now adding these two terms we get the interest generated at the end of 27th year as rupees 3780. So this is our answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.